Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you my sound utility cart that I've um, put together. Um, it's a quick little convenient mobile type of cart that you could take uh, anywhere if you're out and on the field. Um, I found it pretty difficult to use Pelican cases. I had one Pelican case. Um, I forgot the, the actual number, but um, it's in the closet and it's pretty difficult. I had it on a small little cart, um, wasn't really what I was looking for as far as, you know, to uh, transport um, all my audio gear in. So I was looking on the market, looking at sound carts, but unfortunately they're expensive. They're like over, you know, a grand, sometimes even two grand for an official utility cart. But I found this solution and it's, under a hundred dollars i believe i bought it for like maybe 70 bucks and um so i'm gonna give you uh, a little quick tour of what i came up with so here's my uh utility sound cart that i've uh came up with uh for a solution for my needs on the field this is the husky 22 inch uh connect rolling toolbox they sell this at home depot for 79.97 and it's um, a very thick, sturdy, um, it's polypropylene uh, type of plastic. It's very thick. Um, it has um, some plastic wheels, which are not too bad. I use this maybe uh, maybe two two or three times on the field, and um, it's it's held up so far. Don't have any issues. Um, but it is a solution versus taking or carrying, you know, multiple Pelican cases on set and uh, it gets really tiring. So this is my solution. It's a three tier type of toolbox system. You could actually build it up if you want to or build it down. And I also added um, these utility broom holders to hold my boom. As you can see right here, there's one on the bottom and then one on top. I could uh, just pull it away and it's gonna disconnect. I want to put it back on there so I don't have to um, carry my boom in my hand um, it has a handle you could drop it up or down which is pretty cool it's locked in right now press the red button it's gonna drop it down and it stays in place so um, for this uh, kind of utility sound cart if you actually look up um, production sound carts that are used for higher end uh, productions um, they could run easily up to like two grand um, they're like fully customizable with a 19 inch uh, rack mount um, for all of your gear wireless systems and uh, video ins and outs and uh, for patching as well too but since I'm not really in that field yet um, this is my solution so for the first tier you have a clear uh, cover and this is for all of my easy access type of uh, items batteries um, battery tester headphone adapters uh, tape gaff uh, some kind of just utility lighting um, uh, AC adapter utility tool charger some velcro if needed sharpies SD cards uh, microfiber cloth and um, some uh some waistbands for uh the wireless packs so it's all the easy access stuff maybe if i need something real quick on the set um i can just grab it from there or just you know ask somebody that's uh near the area if i'm not available to run over to the cart i tell them hey it's on the top um you know i just need some batteries all right so the way to um disconnect or connect um any of these tiers you're going to pull on this uh gray tab and it's going to unlock pull it up it's locked in place there and then we're going to go ahead and move this out of the way get to the second tier the second tier just looks like a toolbox um you could uh, just carry it around if you want to so we're going to go ahead and open it they do have an actual insert so you could add um you know padlocks on that one unfortunately the top one doesn't have a padlock um i wish i did 
or I wish the Husky would uh, incorporate into that, but it's fine. So opening up, you have a handle as well too. Open up to the second compartment. It's about um, maybe eight inches in depth. And I have all of my uh, wireless kits and microphones in here. As you can see, I inserted some, uh, some foam from a Pelican case, cut it out. Back in here, I have some uh, wireless cables too as well here. Um, two microphones. Just have some extra insert for protection. Um, I got another uh, handheld mount for, uh, for a shotgun microphone. And then of course you see all my uh, wireless kits. They fit perfectly snug and there's a lot of uh, headroom for the wireless antennas as well too. So don't have to worry about um, crimping those uh, antennas. So this, I just have these inserts just in case so nothing doesn't fall over on top of the wireless mics keep a little room in there so you have that lock it up and then we're gonna get down to the bottom one lock here lock there Move this over and this is gonna be the the third compartment so what I have in here this one's even deeper it's probably gonna be maybe like around 12 inches and I have two sets of headphones some XLRs, a harness for the Orca bag, um, small little USB power distro, more wireless cables, handheld microphone for uh, interviews, a full size um, slate, and some uh, essential expendables for uh, lavender concealment. And then, of course, I have the H, uh, sorry, the Zoom F8 in a Orca bag. I believe it's the 27. Orca. There might be a, a tag on here. Um, but yeah, so that yeah, doesn't say on there. Oh, and I have a what do I have else in there? Um, the, I got a handle and uh, like a windscreen, wind jammer in there. So as you can see, it fits everything that I need for you know indie indie film productions, even like a small little commercial shoot. Um, a TV shoot. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my solution to uh, uh, a more uh, cheaper type of sound card. But um, I could probably see even, um, you know, even gaff, gaffers or even filmers if they want to maybe fit like a small little uh, camera in there, DSLR, and you know, maybe all your um, your lenses and stuff. You could probably possibly use one of these if you wanted to, but um, for me, it, it works fine. It's, it's rigid. It's it's thick. It's gonna. Um, I think it's gonna hold up until I buy an actual uh, industry type of cart. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask them in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.